Now, I know this is like a touchy subject, but looking back, if I could go back, I would not really, I don't think I would have. <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is sundas thank you so much for watching okay so today's video i thought i would talk a little bit about my experience um in applying for fashion school how i got in kind of what led me into fashion and if you are someone who is looking to go to fashion school then maybe i can give you some advice and some tips or if you just want to get into the industry um then this video is definitely for you so please keep on watching please subscribe um and like this video if you do like what i'm saying and leave a comment down below to let me know what you think or if maybe you disagree with something i have to say please let me know but yeah this is just gonna be very broad um and you know i hope this helps anyone who is looking to get into the industry so let's get started okay so i have always been a very creative person i love art um that's initially how i kind of started like when i was little three years old i would be drawing and you know even as a kid like i would draw all the time i would love to draw people and i used to watch like dragon ball z and i would love drawing all the characters from dragon ball z or any other like cartoons that i saw um so yeah i was always very like creative and i knew that that's kind of what i wanted to do so as I got older, I was like, oh, you know, there's fashion as well. Um, I loved watching all the runway shows and I just, you know, fashion for me was art, but on the body. It was like, it's not fashion, it's art, you know, so, and which most of like the shows, if you watch it really is, it's just you're putting it on the body. So um, when I was in high school, I did take a lot of art classes. Um, and I even took a class at FIT when I was in high school. So the class that I took was fashion arts and it really kind of gave me an idea of like what I could be doing at FIT in the future if I, you know, got out and I'll get to that. But yeah, and I really enjoyed it. So overall, like I kind of made my decision that, okay, this is the career that I want to, you know, get into. This is the industry. So what are my choices as someone who lives in New York City to get into this industry? Um, and I wasn't really looking to go away for college, you know, as a brown girl, that probably wasn't going to happen either way. So I stuck to whatever schools were in the New York City tri-state area. In terms of fashion, the three schools, and I only applied to three schools, which is a little crazy, I know. Um, I guess I was like confident that I would get in to at least one. <laughs> so the three schools that I applied to were FIT, which was my t number one, um, LIM, and the Art Institute. So I took tours at all of these colleges and I, you know, did all my research and homework on them. For me, like the cheapest one was FIT because as an in-state resident, my tuition was basically covered. So um, yeah, so I did end up get, getting into FIT. Initially, I applied for fashion design, but when I saw the portfolio requirements, I was like, okay, I am not probably not gonna get into the school with design because I don't know how to sew. You had to have like a whole portfolio and um, things that you've sewn and put together yourself, which it kind of scared me a little bit. So I was like, let me change my major to business. I don't have sewing skills and my fashion art skills weren't that great. I have art skills, like I can draw, but in terms of fashion illustrations and fashion art, they were not that great. So I was like, I don't wanna risk not getting into the school because it was my number one choice. So let me just go in for a business. So that's what I did. I ended up applying to the Fashion Merchandising Management Program. Um, I got in for that, so I did that for two years. So I think that's the most common major that everybody kind of goes to if they're trying to get into fashion. FIT has so many different um, majors, like they have toy design, interior design, I think they have interior design. They have, you know, like art illustration, fashion art, like there's just so many things you can do. And FIT is different in that way where it's not a typical college. I guess you could kind of consider it a trade school because it is very specialized. Um, so yeah, so I ended up going for Fashion Merchandising Management, FMM, and I did it for two years. It's a two-year program and then you kind of apply into a different major for your bachelor's or you can continue with something more specific within FMM. Sorry, I don't remember exactly. It was a long time ago, I feel like. Um, 
but in the two years I realized that it's the career paths that FMM was leading to was, were not really what I wanted to do so I ended up going into ITM which is international trade and marketing for the fashion industries and that major I liked so much more because I felt like there was just more it was more broad and all the things that I would learn at it it would not just apply to fashion but any other industry as well so I had um, in classes that were about like world affairs importing exporting a little bit about marketing so it had like a bunch of different things which I really liked it gave me um, like more and I, I would say better career um, choices in terms of like I wouldn't just be stuck in fashion if I didn't want to do that the things that I was learning would also apply to other industries so, so for that you have to write a whole essay you know saying why you should get into the school I forgot like exactly what they ask you but uh, yeah like why you should get in and what do you want to do once you have a career in the industry <clears throat> so yeah so I went in for FMM and I did get in so thank god because yeah, I, I didn't really want to go to LIM or um, the Art Institute, first of all, because they were like really expensive um, and I didn't want to be in debt, so if I got into FIT, I was going there. I will say, if you live in New York City or, you know, if you're in the state or in the tri-state area and if you're looking to go to fashion school, do not go to LIM. <laughs> nothing against the school but if you can afford and you know get into FIT then that is where you should be. FIT and Parsons should be the top two schools you're looking to get into. LIM, <laughs> no hate towards LIM but I'm just saying if you are a New York City resident or you're within the tri-state area then you really want to aim for FIT or Parsons. I think those are the top two schools in the city if not the whole world for fashion so um, yeah, definitely, you know, do your research, of course, but from my experience and just what I've like heard from different people as well, LIM is not the way to go. You're going to be paying so much money. Um, I mean, it's more, it gives you more of a college experience. I did do a tour of LIM just to kind of see what it was about, but you don't want to spend all that money when you can go to FIT, which is world renowned, you know? So um, go to FIT if you can, if you get in, I hope you do, <laughs> or go to Parsons. So many designers have come out of FIT, it's cheap, and you know, it's really gonna look good on your resume, you know, forever. Like once you have that on your resume, you are good to go, trust me, because when people see that, they're like, oh, like everybody who knows fashion knows FIT. So yeah, so that's um, kind of my two cents on that. I will say that, if you are someone who's looking to go into fashion, really weigh the pros and cons of going to school. Now, I know this is like a touchy subject, but looking back, if I could go back, I would not really, I don't think I would have gone to college or maybe I wouldn't have done four years because I would say that almost about 90% of everything that I learned in school, 80 to 90% today, I can learn online, which is insane, I know. Because a lot of the classes were like, you know, the history of fashion and how to start a business and, you know, the, all those things are now online. So you can easily learn that today. So, I mean, I know that's kind of controversial, I don't know. But if you are someone, like, if you want to start your own business or you want to, like, start, have your own brand and do designing, do not, you know, belittle the the idea of maybe not going to college and just starting on whatever your dream project is because I kind of wish I did that. There's so many benefits of going to school but even if you don't go to school I think the most important thing that counts is experience. As long as you have experience in you know the industry just get your foot in the door somewhere, work for a couple of years or however much, get the skills that you need and once you have that on your resume you're good to go because that's what most companies want to see. Like when you're straight out of college and you're looking for a job, I mean, yeah, like you're gonna have a degree, but experience counts. I think getting my first job, like the internships that I did, it really did help me in terms of getting the job offers that I was getting. So back then, back, like I started college in 2010, that was like 10 years ago, and I didn't know any better. I think if you are trying to get into fashion, definitely take that into consideration. I mean, there are so many benefits, yes, to going to college, especially 
school like FIT or Parsons, you're gonna have, you know, so many great resources when you are there. But really consider, you know, if you can learn all the things you can learn in school online and maybe you want to start your own business or you want to, you know, become a designer, just do that instead of wasting your money. I mean, to each their own, but I, looking back, I think I, if I knew what I know now, I would not have gone to school. And I know so many of my colleagues and friends who work in fashion now who either did not go to F FIT or any fashion school and were not in the fashion industry at all and they just kind of got an opportunity to go and try it out and they, you know, and now they're in the industry. Now, if you do want to go to college and you're for sure that you want to go to a fashion school um, such as FIT or Parsons or LIM, then I think one thing I would recommend is that you take a class if you can before you even apply to the school. They love seeing that on the application. Um, that's what I did when I was in high school. I took a fashion art class at FIT, which kind of gave me an idea of like what the environment was like there, you know, what the actual school was like. So if you can definitely take advantage of that. I know FIT has so many courses that people can just take. Um, you, I think you can pay just to take one class if you wanted to. I don't really know how it works, but there are so many different options available for people who you know just want to learn like one skill or a couple of skills and don't really want to do the whole four-year program thing so yeah definitely look into that and I think the most important thing that counts in the fashion industry is experience like no one really cares at the end of the day where you went to school as long as you have experience so that's why when I was in school I did so many different internships um, and while I was still in FIT I was doing an internship like four days out of the week and I was taking like six classes it was like really crazy but I don't know how I did that but I got through it but definitely experience counts and by the time I was graduating I had two years worth or two or three years worth of experience on my resume already which looked really good when I would then graduate and apply to different companies as a you know full-time employee so definitely some things to think about experience matters any day over you know a degree a piece of paper so definitely think about that when you're looking into this career path. Another thing I would say is if you are in New York City or in the tri-state area, depending on your situation, if you can't afford it, then don't dorm. I didn't dorm, I commuted from the Bronx. Um, and instead what I did is I did a study abroad program for a semester in my third year. I went to London and then I ended up going um, to Regents University London for a semester and it was like the best time ever it was like amazing so do that instead i i mean i kind of wish i had dormed at fit but not really because i heard a lot of stories that it wasn't really that great anyway and my commute wasn't bad at all so yeah just something else to think about do study abroad if you can instead put your money there instead of putting your money in the dorms okay another thing that i wanted to touch on is that when you first graduate like you know, unless you know someone or whatever, you're not really going to be making a lot of money. So that's something to keep in mind when you're thinking about coming into the industry because I think it's an industry really, like if you have experience, that's what counts. And if the more experience you have, the better you're going to get paid. So yeah, starting out, you're really not going to make a lot of money. You definitely have to pay your dues and do like the shitty internships and you know just build your way up um even now i feel like it just depends on the company you work for and the job that you do sometimes you just have to do tasks that are just not you know that you don't probably don't want to do but um yeah it's it, you know you don't have to work your way up and it takes like you know a good couple of years to really get a solid salary um especially like i would say that for me um it's not you know it's not the greatest thing in the world but like if you want to work in your, this industry and like that's your passion then that is something to kind of think about um like i think money is not a reason to be getting into this industry at all because um you know a lot of companies don't really pay that well so you kind of just have to kind of know that when you're getting into this you have to remember that you're doing it because you like it and you picked a passion over like you know something else that you could have done which would have paid you more like i know a lot of people like just say okay this is a field that i'm gonna get into and it's gonna pay me a lot of money but they don't really have a passion for it so yeah definitely keep that in mind when you are kind of applying for schools 
and um yeah well, that's it for this video you guys thank you so much for watching do subscribe and like or don't like and comment and let me know your thoughts i hope something in this video helped you and i will see you in my next video